The Minnesota Department of Transportation has announced a number of major projects that will start around the state this summer. An estimated $30 million will go into highway help, including $7.5 million for work in Bidette. The locals in Lake of the Woods County know what's coming, and as Jackson Bruner tells us tonight, they're a little nervous. Highway 11, the only road that leads through the middle of Baudette, will host construction work for all of the coming summer. At the center of the project lies a bridge over Baudette Bay, which starting in June will be completely closed off. There's some rehab that needs to be done on there. Um, they're also going to overlay as well. And it's not replacing the bridge, but it's really going to extend the life of that bridge. So it's going to make it a, a safer highway and a safer corridor. In the first two months after June 1st, traffic coming north on Highway 72 won't be able to pass the bridge. It's going to push residents or going to push motorists a mile south of town. Leaving many of the city's stores out of view. It may be muddy. It may be uh, maybe take a few extra blocks around out of your way to get to them, but you will be able to get to the businesses. Ronning's Outfitters typically thrives in the summer. I I picked this location uh, because it's the busiest uh, intersection of the city and uh, yeah for for two and a half months I won't be the busiest intersection making the timing of this project frustrating I don't think that uh, any time is the right time to do it of course we all w wish it could be done overnight but it can't and we just have to go through it. Baudette is jumping in on MnDOT's three-phase project. They plan to use the same resources to make utility and culvert fixes underground, which will make the entire thing take longer. There's a lot more coordination that has to be done, and there's a lot more digging that has to be done. MnDOT expects everything to be done by late fall of this year, but added that weather delays could push construction into 2017. Last winter, with the mild weather, the ice fishing season was cut way short. Uh, they have to face these kinds of things quite often. They're resilient, they're hardworking business people, and they'll get through it. In Baudette, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. MnDOT says they're working with city officials to make sure that tourists know the city stores will be open despite construction. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.